Newport Beach student passionate about science and technology has created an early detection system for wildfires. The young inventor says that he wants to save lives and protect the environment. And as Eyewitness News reporter David Gonzalez explains, his invention is so innovative, he's already partnering with two local firefighting agencies. And this could be deployed like on a pole, for example. Ryan Honoré has taken an idea he came up with in fifth grade. <laughs> looking for a fire on and develop technology that could save lives during wildfires. It's almost like you have to treat a fire like cancer. If you can de detect it early on, it's easier to put out. It's almost just like a nuisance. But if you detect it in like stage four, it becomes a much bigger problem and much harder to take out. The now 17 year old high school junior created sensory AI, a system of sensors coupled with artificial intelligence. They work together to spot heat and fire before it spreads. Say if one of my detectors were to detect a fire, it would basically use mesh networking, which basically means my whole network can communicate with each other. It would take that information and jump it from detector to detector until it reached one of my detectors that have cellular capabilities. That detector would notify authorities of the location of the threat. The sensors are also equipped with cameras to give fire crews a visual of the possible blaze. Last week, Ryan teamed up with the city of Irvine and Orange County Fire Authority to deploy the first sensor in a high-risk area with homes, high-voltage equipment, power lines, and dead brush. And I'm hoping that in the process I can save many people's lives, I can save homes, I can save animal lives, and I can just save the environment in general. Ryan has big goals for his company. He encourages other kids to turn their ideas into realities. I've been working on it for six years before I even got to deploy once. We've done so many tests. There's been all, obviously a lot of roadblocks, but I still had to work at it for six years to see any form of result. Four more of these detectors are expected to go up by the end of March, and Ryan hopes to have a total of 25 set up along the 133 corridor by the end of September. Reporting in Newport Beach, David Gonzalez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.